ain't they they act like they the only ones that can get you home like the situation the situation that happened to me you know i i you know i was on my way home the truck broke down long story short the truck the truck broke down uh, uh -huh. I took it back to the shop. I asked them if they had a loaner truck. They said no. Mm -hmm. I said, "Do you have a do do you have any do you have any trucks that I can Well, they gave me a rental. Well, mm -hmm. no. No, I, I asked them I said, "Do you have any trucks that you can that that I can get?" They said no. And the only person that could give me a truck is off on the weekend. So, again, oh. again long story short, I said, "Um I got to be home. I have to be home by Monday because I have something to do on Monday. Uh, can y'all get me home? That, you know, get me a rental car, something, whatever. No, nah, they couldn't get me a rental car. They couldn't do nothing. So I took it upon myself to get the rental car, uh, drop the truck off at the shop, ask them where they want their truck at. Looked like they had, they looked like they was like a deer in the headlights trying to figure out what do you mean where you want the truck at? Yeah, yeah, um, that's what I'm asking. You want me to leave it here in the yard or do you want me to leave it over at the shop? Let me know. Why? Right. Um, excuse me. Uh, again, long story short, I, I got my got my rental car, packed it up and went home. You know, and the trucking, you know, the company thought that thought that since uh, that they didn't get me a car or that they couldn't, you know, didn't want to get me home. You know, they just felt like they was in control, and they're not. When I say I want to go home, I'm going home. Period. That's, Thank you. That's 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 basically what it is. Especially if you if you have something to do, if you if you have something to do, you 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 know if it's if it's un, unavoidable, and you already told them, hey, you I, I got something to do. I needed to be home. And, you know, and if that company can't do it, then you just got to be like, look, let me know where to let, let me know where to take this truck at because I'm about to go home. Now, am I going to come back on Monday? Maybe, maybe not. But it just proves to me that you guys don't care about me because if y'all did, y'all would have y'all would have got me home either uh, by any means necessary by truck by car, by plane, right. or whatever. Right. You could have called me up and said, hey, lockout, we got we got a plane ticket for you. Go to O'Hare, uh, go to O'Hare and head to the house. Or we got right. we, we got a car rental for you. Go pick up the car, head to the house, and we'll see you back Monday. Right. So, yeah, that, that's what happened to me. So with you, you know, so the only thing he could say was, that came out of his mouth. Oh, you could find your way home, but you couldn't find your way to the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't have a GPS. I like I told him. I said I'm born and raised in Atlanta. I don't need a GPS to get home. And he was like, "Well, you drove over your hours of service to get home, and you didn't even try to figure out the load, and you didn't do this, and you didn't do that. So that's just two service failures on your part." You know what I told him? I was like, "Okay." All right, so, Whatever. All right, so two service failures. Obviously, you and this 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 fleet manager didn't get along with each other at all. Did you just? Oh, I can't stand his Caucasian ass. Did you just? Could you? Could you just requested another? Uh, fleet manager? He was the only one that does the regional runs. He had 32 oh. drivers that are regional. So I would have to do OTR. But that, no, that, 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 that this was the icing on the cake. Oh, yeah. I was at home for I was at home for four days, right? Okay. The man calling me arguing over the phone. I was like, dude, I'm not finna argue with you. I said when I come back out, I'm only doing my Southreach runs. I ain't doing shit else. You figure it out, Clay. Right. Right. So he gave me a he gave me a load from um Pentagrass, Georgia okay. to um Missouri. Okay. Okay. Missouri. I dropped that load. Okay. I get a a, a preprint on the Qualcomm saying pick up in Kansas and go to Arkansas. I say, No, nah, this is not gonna work. So what I did was I called because it mysteriously he was out of the office for the rest of the week. Mm. Which I thought was strange. So I said, okay, I'm playing on with that game. 
Okay. So I called and I was like, a guy named Hunter was taking over for him. So I called Hunter and I was like, why am I going to Arizona? I'm only doing South Region around Arizona too far. Well, they want you to come and talk to Jim Mallory, the head of safety. I said, what do I need to talk to Jim for? Uh, okay, I said, stop, me and Jim stop, don't stop, have stop, nothing to talk stop, about. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, I, you know, just by listening to this story, I, I knew that was coming. You you went over your yeah, it, it, you you it, it, went over it, it, your you went over your time you 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 in uh you in viol, you went in violation a couple of times. It went my fault. So yeah, that that was well, some that, of it was because yeah, I that, was like fuck you and this love. So. <laughs> that that was coming. <laughs> so all right, so he told you. So in other words, they put you on a safety hold before you went anywhere. No, but I I never even found out what the hell Jim wanted because I gave him their truck back. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. I didn't even, I didn't even take up because I called Jim. I said, Jim, this is a poor Phillips. I was like, I understand that. I need to talk to you. He was like, Yeah. I said, So what is it that we need to talk about that we can't talk about on the phone? He was like, Well, yes, you can. well, we wanted. They told, they just told us that we need to have a sit down with you, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, what's your plan? I don't know what my plan is yet. I said, oh, okay. I said, I'm going to tell you what my plan is. <laughs> that load you got me picking up in Kansas City? I said, when I drop this load, that load you got me picking up in Kansas City? I ain't going to pick it up. I said, I'm going to deadhead all the way to the terminal and give you back your equipment. And that's exactly what I did. Oh. And I had my daughter. I had my daughter and my niece because I was at home for four days. I could have cleaned out the truck. Right. And you know the sad part about it is uh -huh. on the job to, on the job verification, they still tell the company. Uh, I don't work for you no more. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You blacked out for that second. You said they still told the company what? On the job verification form, when other companies are calling verifying my employment, uh -huh. John Krishna is still telling these people that I am employed with them. No, I am not. <laughs> so hold no, on. I'm not. So let me get let me let me let me get this straight. See, this is what they did to you. I, I you know, like I said, listening to They're the story. They're trying to damn me. Look, listen, I'm listen, not crazy. listen, listen. This is what they this is what they did to you. They they already knew. They already knew that they was going to talk to you. Safety already knew that was already in the works. See what they wanted after you. And came I didn't know listen, about it. I found listen, out about listen, it the last listen, minute. Listen, listen, this is what they this this is what they did to you. This is what they wanted to do. So they they wanted to get a few more loads out of you. You know that's they how got one out of me. They, well, they got the one out of you, but they wanted to get a few more loads out of you. This is like, this is like going like, this is like going to work, right? And you go right. in. You this is like going to work. You clock in at eight o'clock in the morning. Everything's going good. Everybody's smiling in your face, and everything's going good and all like that. You know, and once you do your eight hours, that or let's say before the eight hours is up. They, you know, they call you in the office maybe about a half an hour before you get ready to clock right, out. They call right. you in the office and be like, uh, Mr. Such and Such, um, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. Why? Right. You think I'm stupid? I'd be like, bro. You think I'm stupid? Be like, bro, why are you? You think I'm stupid? Why? Why you just didn't tell? <laughs> why? Why you didn't tell me that? Why? Why you didn't tell me that? Like, while I was before, at home. While I was at home. Exactly. See, Thank that's you. what they. See, Thank that's you. what they. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to get an extra, you know, extra load or two out of you. But it wasn't it wasn't even about me. It was a hundred and sixty thousand dollar, a hundred sixty nine thousand dollar equipment that they thought that I was gonna destroy or abandon. No, I don't play with my no, deck report. I no, don't want nothing no, with your equipment. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. They still wanted to get you they still wanted to get some they still wanted in other words, they still wanted to make some money off of you. That's what they wanted to do. Because they uh -huh. already they already knew that they was going to have you to come into the office. They already knew that they was going to have you to come into safety. They already knew all of that. That wasn't they'll, they'll try to make it like, oh, well, you know, safety needs to talk to you. Oh, I didn't need you to think I'm we, stupid. We, we need to talk to you for whatever reason. 
happened. You know, okay, so, but you already that that conversation never but, happened. But they they <laughs> wanted you to they wanted you to go to here and then go there and then come to the uh, come to the yard. And talk to, and talk to safety. They wanted to get an extra. They wanted to get some more money out of you. That's what they wanted to do. And, and this is the thing. So when I figured out what they was up to, I called my daughter and my niece, and I told them to come pick me up at the terminal in Oklahoma. Mind you, my daughter twenty one and my niece is twenty. They had to drive over twelve hours. Wind up getting a flat tire. I had to pay eighty five dollars. Then my daughter had to pay ninety dollars. For two more tires, and I had to spend two hundred dollars in gas. Mm. Well, you already know where I'm going with that. That's that's a long ass trip. <laughs> yeah, and then mind you, I had drove all day, and then I had to turn around and drive twelve hours back home. Fell asleep behind the road twice, behind the wheel twice, trying to get all the way from Oklahoma back to Georgia. All right, so my oldest sister is an attorney, so she she recommended me somebody that's gonna be giving them a call because they gonna pay for that. So, so Zippor, you you they tried you, to bamboozle me. I'm sick of this bullshit, B. You 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 wouldn't recommend John Krishner's trucking to nobody. If my dog could drive for John Krishner, my dog wouldn't drive for John Krishner. Now, because the lease is a scam and they don't care nothing about the driver. Now, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. Now, and they got a dad to tell people I'm still employed. Let, let me ask Devil you. Is a liar. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, mm -hmm. Being that some drivers are still with John Kushner's trucking, and John Kushner's trucking is definitely not going nowhere. But do you think? Uh, do you think? that uh that the people that comes in and and see this do you think they're gonna do you do you think they just gonna just think that you are just a disgruntled driver that you just didn't get what you want and you no but, but, but well they can think that but they're on the outside looking in they have to actually go and get higher and experience it for themselves this was my experience. Everybody's experience is not going to be the same. Exactly. It just didn't work for me. It didn't work for me at all. So everybody's experience is not going to be the same. But based off of my experience, I wouldn't recommend them to nobody because, for one, all their trust in matter of the year is $169,000. Mm -hmm. And they charging you $0.26 cents a mile to, uh, to pay a truck note. Mm -hmm. And once they take out all the diesel and all the fees and all the truck notes, you're not going to be making no money unless you are teen driving. That's yeah. the only way you're going to be successful at a lease purchase at John Krishner is if you teen drive. Okay. That's okay. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. Or Man. you be, or you could be a company driver, but it just didn't work for me. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because Glenn Elkins is an asshole. He's like a grown man that acts like a five year old child. All right. So let me uh let me just put it out uh <laughs> let me just put it out there. Uh the the, <laughs> the comments and the thoughts of the guests is theirs and it's not the it's it's not the thoughts and the comments of the Lockout Man podcast show. All right, continue. Okay. <laughs> Um, what are they saying? <laughs> uh, uh, no, we're not live. No, no, no. This is gonna be oh. no, no, no. This is gonna be this is gonna be put up probably sometime next week. But um, oh, okay. But uh, but yeah, Zippor. Um, man. So now, now that you're back home and you experience, so you you've been in, you've been in trucking. For for a good minute though, I mean, yeah, about what, a little bit over two years. So what is what exactly? Uh, what exactly are you looking for? What what do you want next? I honestly 
want to own my own tractor for one, but I would like to find a company that is true to their word because they teach you, they teach recruiters to tell you a certain thing, and then they teach the people in orientation to tell you a certain thing, and then their videos is a bunch of bullshit. But once you actually get in there and start working for the company, everything they have told you is a lie. Everything I was told at John Krishna from the recruiter to the videos to the orientation was one big lie. They make it sound sweet, but it's not. And they already been sued once for their lease, and they finna get sued again for their lease because it is still not right. How you going to have a 2015 Freightliner or KW or Volvo or International for $169,000 mm. when those trucks are supposed to be based off of the miles? The note of the, the payment of the truck, the, the price of the truck is supposed to be based off of the year and the miles. Mm. So you get a 2015 Freightliner with 500,000 miles on it and you paying $169,000, make it make sense. That's a $90,000 truck, if that. That is not a $169,000 truck. That's a lot of money. So they're getting their money off of the drivers driving the trucks, and the drivers are never succeeding. I'm saying something else I did. Mm -hmm. When I was there in orientation, you know how they look at the wall by all the people that paid off their trucks, and John Krishna will come, or your DM will come, you'll take a picture, and they'll hand you a dollar. Yeah. I counted how many black people had actually succeeded buying the truck versus the white people that succeeded buying the truck. I counted it on the wall, and it was more whites than blacks that brought the truck for them. Now, they had a couple of blacks, like two black men that brought their truck in 2019 and in 2020, and they had one that had just finished paying off his truck in 2021. But that wall is still more white than black. But you know, I, I I don't think I wanna I, I don't think I wanna go there with 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 the color variants because maybe some maybe some of the of the black guys that that did do the leasing you know maybe they you know failed at it or whatever the case. But I I don't wanna I I don't wanna touch I don't wanna touch on that. I I think we going in muddy water. You don't think that that's a big difference. Well, it's going to be a bit different, uh, to be honest with you, not just, not just, you know, not just that, but I believe it's going to be a bit different everywhere. Hell, when you go to, when you go to Prime or not Prime, but I, I'm, I'm going to say what I'm, I'm familiar with, like U.S. Express and J and R. Oh, they're a bunch of bullshit too. Uh, U.S. Express and J and R. Swoogle. I mean, you know, when I look up on their walls. And 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 look, you know, at the you know million mile drivers or or you know longevity drivers. It, it, I mean, the variance is different. Do you Those know that different. one time my settlement was ninety eight dollars? God damn it! And the one after that was ninety eight dollars, and one was one ninety eight. Ah, damn Come it. on, bro. How, how, I'm how, good on that. How 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 is how is you guys supposed to be making money? I you know I talk That's to, what I'm saying. I, I talked to uh I, I you know I, I talked to uh uh Marcus, better known as Party Hard, uh, uh -huh. in, in his DM and bro got thirty nine dollars. Like I'm like that's what I'm saying. You you know, with leasing if you know if you guys if you guys don't read the fine print or or understand yeah. or understand what leasing is about, man, you right. you 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 can you can go in a hole quick, real quick, drown. You you can go in a hole quick. I mean, you know, <laughs> you you said ninety eight dollars and and bro got thirty nine dollars. What the what? I, you better be glad that wasn't. Make a, it make sense, Lockman. You, you better be glad that wasn't a. That wasn't the bill week. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you better make be glad, it make sense. You better be glad that wasn't the bill week. <laughs> I'm sick of it. And then, I'm going to tell you another thing about it. These companies are scrambling for drivers. You're scrambling for drivers to keep your company running. So why are you trying to shit on people? Be nice to people. 
understand people, help your drivers, because if you don't have no drivers, you don't have no company. Mm. We are essential workers. Everything you go and you buy in that damn store, we provide it. We take it to the warehouse where it could be stocked on the shelves. Everything we haul, you buy every single day. And yes, we get the, the, the worst treatment, especially from DOT. DOT is absolutely awful. Oh, oh right. Lord, something always going on on I-80. I hate that highway. Yeah, you're right about that. You lose all your paperwork on I-80. You're right about that. So In the trash can you know, and everywhere. You know what I should have did? I should have went with my, I, I honestly should have went with my first thought and 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 stayed in Gary like I was going to stay. But I had like three hours left and I, I thought about what my fleet manager said last time when I had, when I had maybe about two, about two and some change left. Why you didn't, uh, why, why you didn't drive that out? I drive mine down to the last five, ten minutes. Sometimes. Well, I, I knew, I, I knew, you know, there's been traffic problems in on ninety four, yeah. you know, on ninety four, you know, coming to uh -huh. coming to eighty ninety, and I just knew it was gonna be some more issues with this. See, I would have just shut it down. I would have just had. I would have. Yeah. I would have just had three hours. I still would have had like three hours. I would have shut it down. I would have did my ten. I would have got up at maybe like ten o'clock tonight, and I still would have made it home by like three in the morning. So, yeah, yeah. So. But 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 what behooves me mm -hmm. is the audacity for them to come out their mouth and tell other companies that I am still employed with them. I don't get that. Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't. That's disrespectful. That is that's disrespectful on so many levels. But when I talked to this one lady today, that got these uh, region runs that might work for me. She was like, uh, when did you leave John Christian? And they say, you still employed. I said, I'm not employed with John Christian. I said, I'm at home. <laughs> I don't even know why they're telling you that. Oh, man. And then make it so bad when I got there to turn the truck in, my truck had came from the dealership where they had did the body work and stuff on it. <laughs> yeah. I guess they were thinking that I was going to change my mind. No. I, told, <laughs> I sent them an email. And I told them, I said, you know what? I said, this, whatever it is that y'all are going on with or what y'all trying to pull off, I said, it's not going to work. I said, because for one, we got grown men acting like children. I said, this has nothing to do with me or Glenn. This is about your $169,000 equipment that I'm leasing that I absolutely want nothing with. So the best thing for me to do is to bring you back your tractor. So and that's you exactly what I did. So you just um, what you did? Uh oh, we're gonna get back over here. Uh, so basically, what you did was you you did the right thing by taking their truck back to their terminal. Uh, right. Left it at, left that it why at, I got it from? Left it left it at the terminal, and you just basically told them where their truck was at, and you're good. I parked it. I parked it in front of the um shop. Mm-hmm. I parked it in front of the shop. The man said, when you clean everything out, just park it, in, park it in front of the shop. And that's what I did. And I hopped behind my car, and I drove. And then when I got home, I was tired of it. I slept for about five, six hours before I woke up. I was exhausted. Like, I, like, all I have been doing with them is losing money. I wasn't making any money at all. Man. I was losing money. I don't. Who likes to lose money? John Chris. Nobody likes to lose money. So where? And then make it so bad. They getting. They getting rid of them trucks like Wi-Fi. When I got there, that dang on lot was so empty. It wasn't even funny. So where's? So where's John Christner's trucking located at? It's in Sepulpa, Oklahoma. Man, that's that's a long way from home, man. Uh, you know. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? They they gave me a plane ticket. I flew in on the plane and then make it so bad. They got the cheapest hotel that you can motel that you could possibly get. They had a motel eight and I got ate up by bed bugs. And I went and paid for my own hotel because you're nasty. 
it was crackhead screaming and hollering all night, standing up, drinking and, and, and carrying on with all kinds of foolishness. <laughs> Couldn't get no sleep because they were making all kinds of noise, and then you're getting ate by dead bugs. Really, dude? <laughs> it's a multi billion dollar company, and the best you could do is the two eight. And they're going to come out from the reason why they chose that one is because the other high class Super 8 that's real nice is next to a bar, and the driver's just going there getting drunk when they got out of class. So they had to put you somewhere where you didn't have access to alcohol, but you had access to restaurants. <laughs> So they put you. So they put you in a. They put you in a super eight. The the hotel Hotel. wasn't not a hotel. A motel. The the motel wasn't what wasn't up to par, huh? No, it was raggedy. They didn't have any elevator. They had bed bugs. One of the girls got bit by a spider. Had a puff bump on her arm. Really, dude. I changed my room three times. I was like, I was like, I'm over it. I was like, Lord, please let me get tripped out and get the hell out of here. Wow. It was awful. Awful. Well, Zippor, what's uh what's 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 uh what's what's next for you? I, you already said that, you know, that's your goal, but uh you're you're at home now. I I'm assuming are are you at least getting another uh settlement from them or what? Well, the last settlement, they quote unquote going to keep for 45 days, which, which is the escrow. And I was arguing with the lady in the settlements department. I said, wait a minute, hold up. I said, that was a brand new truck I got in. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. Because I did the walk around, turned in the paperwork. The only thing that was wrong with the truck, it got hit by our own operator, which they got the money from Schneider to get the truck fixed. Mm-hmm. Why are you keeping my escrow for 45 days? Well, that's just procedure because if there's anything wrong with the truck, you got to take it out of the escrow. Once again, it was a brand new truck with 44,000 miles on it. It was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to let you have that. All right. All right. So what's, uh, again... What what's 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 the next move? What what are you looking? What are you what are you? Looking I'm putting for? I'm putting in applications for home daily or regional runs. Okay, okay. Uh, I do not want to be OTR. All right. Well, I'm gonna to have to make a make a quick suggestion before we get on up out of here. Try if you're looking for if you're looking for regional. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for regional, home daily. Mm-hmm. Home daily is totally different. But if you're looking for regional. Don't go lease if you if you if you want regional. You do not Okay, do company. Yeah, okay. do do company because Okay. You know, if you don't want to go OTR, then don't go no. lease. Okay. Don't go lease. If you're gonna go if okay. you're gonna go lease, then I, I, I hate to say this, but you, you're gonna have to go OTR in order to make some money with leasing. My body. So but if you wanna get home if you if you want to get home uh, every weekend or whatever the case, then go regional and and go company. I would do OTR with a co-driver. Yeah, but you gotta find you gotta find a co driver uh, uh, you gotta find a co-driver that's uh, that I want to kick com- out the truck. <laughs> that's compatible with you. Exactly, got to be compatible. Lord Jesus, help me. Cause you remember the last horse store I told you about Hearst Box. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said in my life I'll never get another cold driver again as long as I live. <laughs> oh yeah, so you, you need if you're gonna get a cold driver or anything like that, you need somebody that's, that's gonna be compatible. Yeah, somebody I can relate to. Yeah, that's that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Support. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know, of course, you know. Of course, I support you, you know, you know, whatever your endeavors are. And I hope, you know, I wish you much success out of it. But Thank again, you. But again, if you if you're going, if you going lease, then you're going to have to go OTR. That's that's the only way I can see that you can make make some money. If if you right. want to go, if you want to go. uh, uh see, the regional, thing about it is, I, you know, why I do the lease program. It's not even really about the money, even though the money can be good depending on what the company you get. Mm-hmm. With the OTR, with the lease, you have more freedom. Yeah, that is. Company drivers, they give you two 
thing, though. Yeah, that that is true, and I I agree with you. You you have a little bit more freedom, but if you planning on making some money, <laughs> then you're gonna have to go OTR. <laughs> oh God, please! You're, gonna, you're, you're making gonna, my body hurt every time gonna, you say that. You're gonna have you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. I can't. I can't. I can't see it. I, I can't see it. No. No. No other way. Because you. You. You pretty much. You. You pretty much. You pretty much wasting money. If. If you. If you going. If, number one. If you going home every week. You know what I'm saying. That's number one. Number two. Well, they have a regional job that's six days a week, one day at home. Oh. Okay. And it, And the one, lady told me that. One, one day at home. That's not even a that. That's that's not even enough but, to get yeah, a right. this, this, yeah. this is the thing said that a lot of her Georgia drivers typically do get ten hour of recess at home in their bed. They work six days a week, they're off one day and she was like, You do do um it's two ten it's two ten a day if you um it's two ten a day if you don't have no no endorsements. And it's two sixty day with endorsement. So she told me to go get my tanker and my hazmat, which I already did fingerprint for the hazmat. So I told her, I said, I'm going to study over the weekend. I'm going to go to the DMV on Tuesday because they're only $5 now because of COVID. I'm going to go and try to get my tankers and my um, endorsement hazmat. But with that, it costs you more money to keep it on your license. Oh, yeah. And plus what hazmat, another thing with hazmat, a lot of, a lot of new people need to understand is that every four years you got to retest. Exactly. And see, the tanker will only be like milk and orange juice. There's no chemicals on yeah. tanker. Now, with well, tanker, tanker is on your license, period. Tanker, uh, what else? Tanker, passengers, that's on your license, period. But as far as, pass- right. as, far as passenger, uh, now with the way CF C F S A C F S A C A B D E F G. Uh the way they are now oh, is Lord. that is that you have to work for uh like a bus company. You gotta work Okay. For, hold on. What would that say? Left lane or right? Damn it, dude. Left left lane closed. Okay, cool. I'm in the right I'm in the I'm in the right lane. All right, okay. dude. Why? What? What? What are y'all? What? What? What are y'all doing right here, bro? What? What is this? This is what I want. If you talking to pedestrians and cars, you might as well let them have it. Um, you know, right? Um, <laughs> you know, in order to get your passengers, you you have to work. You have to go to work for a bus company, school bus company, or something like that. Or no, I don't like children like that. Or uh, because I asked. When I was at uh at my at my old school, I asked them why they don't do you know passengers endorsements no more, and they was like, well you know now you have to you know like if I want to work for the RTA or something like that, I would have to actually go through them to get my passengers endorsement. But I might be talking out of turn. Uh, I'm I'm about to go uh to their fair. Uh, in about a in about a couple of weeks, um, then I'll I'll definitely ask more about that when uh, when I go when I go up there and talk to them because like I said I might be talking out of turn but so far from what I know you you have to you know the schools well at least my school is not uh, is not doing passengers endorsements. Okay. So. But uh, but yeah, man, yeah, man, giant Christianers trucking. <laughs> yeah, All not right. the way to go. All right, so that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, Zapor, thank you for thank you for the story. Thank you for sharing. You're very welcome. You know, I do appreciate you coming on as always. You know, we chop it yes. up. You know, I like that. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. and like I said, more power to you. I support you and and much success to you in uh, in your you. endeavor. Yes. 